Sir Isaac Newton is a very important scientist. He helped invent calculus with the help of Lebanon's, and he is very famous for making most of our knowledge of classical mechanics. However, if you would ask the average person on how important Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion are, they'd probably be a little confused on how important they truly are. So in this video, we are going to demonstrate how important they are. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will no matter what continuously stay at rest until it is acted upon by another opposing unbalanced force. The second part of the law states that an object in motion will continuously stay in motion until it is acted upon by another force. Now, this might be complicated because you might think that this is simply impossible because you've never seen an object move infinitely despite a small bit of force being applied to it. However, on Earth, a ball will eventually stop due to many factors like air friction slowing it down. However, we only need to look to Voyager 1, launched on September 5th, 1977. It was used to study the outer planets of our solar system. Currently, Voyager 1 is out of the solar system and is at 38,000 miles per hour when it comes to speed. Voyager 1 gained its speed because not only the rocket carrying it gave it a ton of velocity, it used multiple gravity assists from Jupiter, Saturn, and Saturn's moon Titan. Voyager 1 now moves infinitely across space and time because there's no air friction to impede its travel. Voyager 1 is the farthest man-made object to ever exist. Voyager 1 is now cruising into stellar space and will do so for hundreds upon millions of years of time. Voyager 1 is so far away it takes like 21 hours to reach its surface. Voyager 1 is a great example of Newton's first law. Go! Oh. Newton's second law states how force relates to acceleration. Now, in your class, you may have seen this equation. You can flip it around to get this. Basically, you need a lot of force to accelerate an object in a certain direction, and acceleration is related to the force in that direction. A sailboat will only accelerate if the wind is pushing it to accelerate in that direction. Five pound dumbbell will not move at all in any way if there's no acceleration, but if you are lifting a 900 pound object, you will most definitely be accelerating it even if it takes a lot of effort to, and you'll accelerate it in a certain direction, basically where you're lifting or pushing it. Number three. Third law basically states that every action in the universe has an equal and opposite reaction. This simple statement describes how basically everything moves. A wing pushes on the air, which pushes on the wing. But I think the best way to describe it is with this. The titan of a rocket you just saw was the Saturn V. It carried Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin to the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin would later go on to the moon to collect samples, plant the US flag, and then leave to Earth to be renowned as national heroes of all of mankind. However, you may be scratching your head on why this relates to Newton's third law. It relates to it because the Saturn V, like every rocket, mixes fuel like RP-1 and liquid oxygen to create a very interesting chemical reaction. The chemical reaction expels hot gas from one end and pushing the rocket in the exact opposite direction. While Newton's three laws of motion may not relate to everything, especially in modern physics where classical physics has been completely un overturned by our modern understanding, Newton's third law affects our general reality. It's very helpful if you want to know basic stuff about it. 